What's up there guys, Gareth William 414 here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, 10 facts about Jinzo. This card is most famously known for being one of Joey Wheeler's most powerful cards after he won this in Battle City after his duel with Esper Roba. I will leave a link in the description below with a playlist to all of my fact videos so if you haven't checked out my other Yu-Gi-Oh fact videos then head over there. And if you enjoy this video let me know by smashing that like button. Let's see if we can hit 350 likes on this video. So with that being said, let's jump straight in. Jinzo is a level 6 dark attribute machine and effect monster with an attack of 2400 and a defense of 1500. His effect is trap cards and their effects on the field cannot be activated. Negate all trap effects on the field. Jinzo's design consists of a long coat that was equipped with shoulder pads and a spiked collar. He also wore bracelets and a belt. His face featured thick veins and signs of deformity and for the most part was covered with a mask. The spell card amplifier gave Jinzo an optional helmet that featured several needles being inserted to his head. I remember when this card was first released, its effect, easy summon and decent attack made it a must have for anyone's deck. So with that being said, here are the facts. Jinzo comes from the Japanese word for artificial which I think really suits this card's appearance. And talking about his appearance, Jinzo has a lot of similarities to Psycho Mantis, who is a villain in Konami's classic Metal Gear Solid. They are both bold, wear a mask and use psychic powers on their enemies. Even the voice of Jinzo in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX sounds like that of Psycho Mantis. As well as this, both franchises are Konami based, feeding more fuel to the fact that many believe Jinzo was inspired by this villain. There are also some similarities between Jinzo and Hannibal Lecter, though the link is often made because Big Five member Lecter chose him as his deck master and they both wore masks, but a bit more on that later. Going back to Yu-Gi-Oh GX and Jinzo's infamous effect. In this series and every now and then his effect was changed so that it seemed like Jinzo had the ability to destroy traps, be them face up or face down, instead of just negating them. Had Jinzo kept this ability, it would most certainly have made him so much more overpowered and sought after than he was. As mentioned in the previous fact, in the virtual world arc of the main series, Lector, one of the big five, took on the form of Jinzo and used him as his deck master. And going back to the fact just before this one, Jinzo's deck master ability allowed him to destroy all of his opponent's trap cards while leaving his unaffected. A cool little fact or coincidence I found from this arc as well was that as Lector was Seto Kaiba's opponent, Joey Wheeler's opponent was Johnson, who took on the form of the Judge Man as his deck master. Both these monsters are used in each of the other protagonists' decks, as well as them both being level 6 monsters with a defense of 1500. Also, their deck master abilities were similar in the sense that they could both destroy a certain type of card on their opponent's side of the field. Jinzo has an upgraded version of itself. Jinzo Lord. As well as it having a higher level, better attack and defense stats and not forgetting the extra eye, this card's effect lets you once per turn destroy all face up trap cards on the field, inflicting 300 points of direct damage to your opponent for each trap card destroyed. There is also a weaker version in Jinzo Returner. Other than its appearance most noticeably being weaker, its stats of course back this up. It's also the only version of Jinzo not to have a mask covering its mouth. It also has a spell card negating counterpart in Spell Counselor, though not as popular to players as Jinzo, mainly because the cards lower attack for a level 5 monster. Royal Decree is also said to be Jinzo's trap counterpart, as both of their effects are the same. A cool fact I found about Royal Decree is that the king in the card's artwork can also be found in the artworks of Conscription and Imperial Iron Wall. It's also said that the artwork for Royal Decree is a direct reference from the moment the Duelist Kingdom tournament started, where Pegasus welcomed the Duelists to the island. Other Jinzo cards include Jinzo Jector and Jinzo 7. Jinzo appears in the artwork of the spell card Amplifier, which was also used by Esper Roba in his duel against Joey Wheeler in Battle City. It's also the only spell card so far that cannot be negated. Other artworks that feature Jinzo include Factory of 100 Machines, Psychic Shockwave and Psychic Wave. Jinzo's artwork features a pink background. It is said that this colour scheme was chosen to reflect its ability to negate traps and their effects. Its second OCG and TCG artwork, which was released in the Anniversary Pack, like all the other cards in this set, was completely redrawn and given a slightly different colour scheme. 
the grey border was removed from Jinzo's artwork due to it being a tribute monster with a very unique effect. This card's artwork was also drawn slightly different for the Dark Duel Stories and Duel Monsters 4 games. Jinzo's attack name in the original Japanese version of the anime was called Cyber Energy Shock Psychic Wave and the card's effect was known as Trap Search and Trap Crush which once again featured the card's altered ability to destroy traps rather than just negating. In the game Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories, Jinzo's card text stated that Jinzo had abandoned its humanity and in his lust for power decided to take the form we associate him with now, which is that of a machine. This was to enhance both his abilities and of course the power he sought after. Jinzo was first released in October of 2004 in the set Dark Beginning 1. He then went on to be released in a further 13 sets coming in a variety of different rarities ranging from common to secret rare. In the Yu-Gi-Oh manga this card is level 7 rather than the level 6 monster we know him as in the anime, OCG and TCG. Jinzo's Japanese name is also different as he is known as Android Psycho Shocker. Thanks for watching guys, this was my video 10 facts about Jinzo. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something cool about this awesome Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Don't forget to check out the playlist below if you want to see any of my previous Yu-Gi-Oh fact videos. And if you enjoyed the video let me know by smashing that like button and sharing this video with a friend that is into Yu-Gi-Oh as it really helps this channel grow. If you are new here and you'd like to see more fact videos like this one or are interested in other Yu-Gi-Oh content I make, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of my future releases. You can also connect with me on social media. The links to my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram are on the screen now. So if you want to follow me on those platforms, you can. And if you do, I really appreciate it. Feel free to chat to me anytime. I'll do my best to respond as quickly as I can. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.